Yeah. Right. The forum is now open to all of you. If you yes. have questions for the speakers or anything you would like to add or anything you like them to clarify, please, the forum is open. I got a few questions. Go ahead. But if anybody, I have asked my one question, but I have got a few questions, but anybody can ask before me. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Now you go ahead, Shailesh. You set the ball rolling and I'm sure people will join in. Go ahead. Yeah, no, Bronny, I really appreciate that was great. One of a hell of a information that you provided in terms of uh, lots of to take in, but lots of easy, simple ways that you mentioned and people get bogged down in businesses, you know, and you have been mentioning that over time. Simple, simple things. People then like distract, get distracted with emails, like simple emails and they get distracted and then they don't get the real work done. How do we really become more confident or positive frame of mind when you have got multiple things to do? And when you mentioned prioritizing, now that's the key prioritizing. Is the prioritizing to be just where the money is or is the prioritizing just where the business to be sustained? What would be your answer to that? How do we prioritize and what do we prioritize? Oh my gosh, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, it, it's an interesting question, isn't it? Do you prioritize yeah. just where the money is? Well, yeah, yeah. some people perhaps would, I would emphatically say no. Yeah. Um, if, I, if I reflect on where I have always landed, how the most important things of a business, and I have spoken on this you know, often, for me, it is always people first, product second, mm. process third, and then the profits will come. Wow. And I think always, and, and there would be people that would disagree with me who are much more, uh, I don't know, I guess, driven by the finances. But my view is, if you get those things right in that order, it's always about mm. people. Mm -hmm. And by people, I mean, it is not just your own team and your own um, people within your business it is mm -hmm. who are you serving every business if you break it down is there to serve yeah. whether it's because you provide a service itself or whether you are creating a product regardless you're still serving a customer and so when I say people it is about how well do you know that person that actual profile of your customer if you like who are they what's important to them how much can they afford? What's, what are they feeling like in the middle of a pandemic? What's changing for them? So that's that side of it. There's obviously your own team. And then on the other side, if you're creating product, for me, it's always been about the people that are supplying that product. So I've spent many years coming to and fro from China, Bangladesh, places like that, where mm. I have been in the places where our product was being made because it is just as important to me that the people factor is all the way through the supply mm. chain from the start to the finish. So first of all, people, you get that right. Then the next part of it is the product. The product has got to be to delight the person. So if I'm making a $6 t-shirt, it needs to be the most amazing $6 t-shirt for the person that has worked a minimum wage job and needs to clothe their child. They come in, they buy a t-shirt and, and it lasts for two years and they're like, oh my gosh, what an amazing product that was for $6. Or whether it's a $600 something, it's still got to be, the product has got to be robust. If it's software, make it software that's robust, that really serves what the customer needs. They've purchased it from you to help them. So that's the product side. And then you've got process. And I always say, and this is really where some resilience comes in actually. Once you get past a certain size, if you don't shore up what your processes are, everything will start to fall apart. It's like a body without a skeleton. You can, it's fine if there's two of you, you just to and fro and it's easy. When I first started at Pumpkin Patch, I was the fifth person on board. We did everything from marketing to product to whatever. But after that, and it got bigger and bigger and bigger, you have to put process in or the whole thing falls apart. Mm -hmm. And my view is you get those things right in that order and then the profits will come. Now, of course, you're not, if it's about looking after people, it's about looking after them wisely and obviously not risking the finances of the business because then there's no business and no income for anyone. So all of these things, there's a fine juggle. But if you were to ask me a hierarchy of what's important from my perspective, that's how it would, that's how it would play out. 
that's definitely a good uh, answer, Bronny. I really get that. I'm also of the view of that, like where there is people come first, then automatically everything follows because first and foremost is the mindset and the positivity around and that only can be given by people rather than the product. Product can be looking good, but may not be good for everyone. Mm. But the peoples are definitely there for everyone to get the support or need it. So no, I 100% agree. Thanks very much for that. I completely agree with that.